Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here with another exciting episode of Siphon Filter and Friends. Today I'm joined by my best friend, Fetus Berry Crunch. How are you, Fetus? I'm so happy to be here. You're my best friend, Tony. I love you, Tony. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Fetus <laughs> had the the hottest, most controversial gamer take. <laughs> Yeah. Of all of 2019, can you can you tell us what your gamer take was? Uh, you cheated not only the game but yourself. You know, it's uh, it was the one that jumped off when uh, a journalist said that he had uh, cheated and felt fine about it, which seemed to me to be an admission of a guilty conscience. Uh, he slowed yes. down the end boss of Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice by 50 percent by using an exterior program so that he could beat yep. the game. <sighs> unacceptable <laughs> disgraceful you know what i yes. mean so you so you let him have it you said he didn't grow he didn't learn he didn't he didn't and, grow uh, he didn't improve right yeah yep. he, he right, experienced right, a hollow right, victory right. yes nothing was risked and nothing yes, gained. Yes. yeah the, I stand uh, by that. the yeah. comment that was heard around the world uh, yeah. like i said it was the most controversial gaming take um anyway so. so so have you heard of siphon filter uh the greatest game ever made uh, you know what? I actually I love Siphon Filter. It is one of the greatest games ever made. It was the oh. first game. It was it's one of the very first games actually where I ended up sniping two enemies with one bullet. I'd never done oh, that. Oh yeah, you could do that. Yeah, yeah you that do time that. when they got the hostage. Yeah. Um, yep, between yep. that and the the taser, no, I was sold. I love Siphon Filter, man. It's a fantastic one. Aside from the one on the PS2, that was a mega strain, right? Uh, today we're gonna do the silo access tunnel. So our mm. hero Gabriel Logan has made it to warehouse 76 he found the access to the silo to the silo yeah now he's got a journey through the tunnels to stop the r9 deviaka rocket from Deviaka's launching rocket. and spread yeah and spreading the siphon filter virus who knows where oh no so the previous level ended with him uh being lowered into the tunnels and then an explosion happened and uh this is where we are now now oh. uh fetus this mm -hmm. is a very, very hard level. Oh God! It require it requires a lot of skill. Yeah. Uh, you have to know a lot of trial and error. You have to know where enemies are going to show up. Sure. And they are all like they're all armored. Sure. So you really have to pick the right ammo. You got to conserve ammo. No, no, no. Okay. What you do is is you you tough through it and you accept that that failure is a means to self improvement. So you you take the time. You see what I'm saying is you, you you put in the effort. If it's important enough to you, you'll do it the hard way. Listen, we're not doing that. We're putting the infinite ammo cheat code on. I don't know why you asked me to be on this show. This is all it's a this yeah, is all yeah. it's all a I farce. Just, oh man. Look this at those guys. Oh, I'll just hit I'll just hit him with the grenade launcher. This is horse oh, nah. I love that M79. There's no recoil. Yeah. 40 millimeter grenade I launcher, know. no recoil. Appa apparently, like, there really isn't that much recoil. So the guy in the previous episode yeah, pulled that out, a and a bunch of people were like, actually, no, there's not that much. Yeah. Also, the guy from the previous episode bought the Belle Delphine bath water. So what would he know? <laughs> yep, that was him. That was him. I know. Um, it. Let me take another sip of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So, Fetus, this, this must right. be so hard for you to see me cheating just lobbing oh. grenades. <laughs> you will notice that I'm not even looking at the screen. As much as I love Siphon Filter, I feel like you dragged <laughs> the name through the mud right now. Okay? I'm not yeah. even looking at the screen. You do you, man. You do you. But we both know oh, at well, the end oh, of the day. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh, I, almost, I actually I almost killed myself because uh, <laughs> the grenade launcher can kill you if you shoot it too close to yourself. Oh, yeah. Fancy now, some, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's a box around here. And uh, let's that's see what she what's said. In it. Oh, there's a, there's a gun I can get. There's a gun. Oh, but wait, my bullets are max because I have the infinite ammo cheat code. Uh, on. <laughs> ah, you nerd. Got him. <laughs> See, look at that. Cyber build is on my side, man. Cheating is bogus and heinous. <laughs> so, yeah, the that was like one of my favorite. I thought like a lot of people, I thought you were being like 100 percent serious when you did that. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of people yeah. with that. They're like, oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's a single player game. You know, what, what's your deal? Why are you weighing in on it? And I'm like, it's like, listen, I, a lot of it was, it was melodramatic on purpose, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I do a lot of parody satire stuff and I, I like to, 
I thought it was real at first, but like when I found out, like when you said that it was like all a joke, I'm like, oh, that was a good one. Like I wasn't angry. I feel like people wanted it to be real. And then when it turns out it wasn't, they were like, oh, he's just lying. Yep. Yep. A lot of people were like, oh, he's an asshole and he's too, you know, he's, he's too invested in this and it doesn't matter. It's a single player game. What does it matter as long as he's still enjoying it? I'm like, well, sure, you could cheat at Monopoly and you can have a good time. But are you really playing the game? <laughs> that's true you that's know true. your but win also, matters also a lot less here, here's my take on everything uh oh. video games are for children <laughs> and everyone should just sure. f- relax that's and why calm down that's why you and i have such advanced hobbies like evangeline yeah, <laughs> yeah we love evangeline <laughs> uh, oh man no, i love evangeline asika <laughs> that one girl asika with the red hair man <laughs> she's uh remember that time Oh man, that she lost her eye, and um, no, I shy, no, but now that um, I know the guy Shinji's dad was like, "Get in the robot, blue-haired girl," and she did. Remember that? You, you, Good can, times. you could be telling the truth or making it up. I don't know. I'll never watch it. That's for the fans to know. You know what I mean? That's not oh, for okay. us. We're intellectuals. Okay. We're past that. <laughs> We're above it. Uh, anyway, so when when did you play Siphon Filter? Like when it originally came out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I rented uh, now, I had a demo disc with yeah. Siphon Filter on it. I eventually read, uh, rented it from a video store and I had a great time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, two is really good. People really like two. Yep. Um, three, I've, I've said many times three is more of the same. Like it's fine. It's, if it ain't uh, broke, but, don't fix it, you know? Yeah. But I yeah. think, uh, in a later episode, it'll be revealed what the issue with that game was. Uh, oh, I don't want to spoil yeah, that. Right. I don't want to spoil that right now. See, there's a cliffhanger, uh, baby. You got to make it through the first yeah. game, and then the second, and then we'll get to the now, third. We'll see. Now, thank thank God I got the cheat code on because this part's pretty rough. Here and we I go. try to like conserve. I try to conserve at, uh, the grenade launcher for the next level. See, here you go, cheating yourself, buddy. <laughs> you're risking nothing and you're gaining nothing. You know what I mean? It's too oh, bad, I man. died. God, and I died. Serves you right. I know. I serve uh, you right. You, you gotta like walk backwards. You gotta See? walk backwards off the thing, and sometimes I miss aim it, and I oh, fall too far. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, having to go up backward. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. yeah, no, man, you uh, should not get off right there, Tony. <laughs> uh, 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 so, so are you? Were you a Metal Gear? Are you one of those Metal Gear jerks? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I Metal Gear jerk is is actually probably. If I wasn't oh, wait, already no, Venus Fury uh, Crunch, I might be Metal Gear jerk. No, no, no. Uh, someone, uh, someone commented on the last episode. They called Vito Metal Gear Simp. So now everyone's a Metal Gear Simp to me. Okay. I, now, here you go. This is one that, that only Metal Gear Solid fans will understand. I like yeah. Metal Gear Solid. I enjoy the first one uh, yeah. the most, I think. And then Snake Eater also is a very good game. Don't like two. Four yeah. is fine. Five I never beat. But my personal okay. favorite Metal Gear Solid game is Metal Gear Acid, which nobody played. What is Metal Gear Acid? <laughs> it's a PSP only card game. Yep. Suck my opinion. <laughs> it's real good. <laughs> they made two of them. How about that? You like that? That's real good. Oh, they did? <laughs> they did. Yeah. And uh, it was a whole like system where uh, yeah, it was, it was a points based system where the cards that you were using had point values. So like if you okay. use say a pistol, it'd be three points, but you can okay. rack up these points and that sets your initiative for the next round. But okay. what you could do is you could sacrifice other cards to reduce your cost. So if you were smart about it, okay. like I was, you can basically do like three turns in a row. You do an action, sacrifice a card, remove your action to zero initiative. So you get to move again, right. And, and then do okay. it. Okay. Le- yeah. I just want to tell you something. I didn't think metal gear could sound even more boring than it was. Oh, it's so uh, boring. You'd love it. Yeah, <laughs> but it's what you just describe, game. yeah, what you just described sounded like the most boring game I've ever heard. Oh, I know, and I was like, man, Tony would love this. It's so <laughs> <laughs> there are two games of it, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> just wait, You'll, just wait, man. Your next podcast, uh, or whatever the hell this is, program will be uh, Metal Gear Acid and Friends, whatever the hell this train wreck is. The next one will be Metal Gear Acid and Friends. By the way, for the, for the viewers not. at home, I got vodka in this yeah. cup. I'm drinking it straight. 
<laughs> what cup is that? What is on that cup? Oh, it's a commemorative Spider-Man 3 Slurpee cup with venom. And How it's long have you had? <laughs> a thousand <laughs> years! Those things, like, I, I had, like, the cups from when Thor came out, and they, like, broke within a year. How is that thing still How the hell up? are you abusing your cups? I, I, I guess that's you're not, not supposed to put the, them through that's the... That's not on the cup manufacturer. This came out in 2006, bro. So what are you doing breaking your cups? Come on. It came out in 2007. Uh, this I fucking guess, cup uh, says 2006 Columbia Pictures Industries Incorporated All Rights Reserved. Uh, suck my cup, well, bro. They probably made it in 2006, but the movie came out in 2007. Uh, so they put out a copyright anyway, before the movie came out. Imagine that. Yeah. Anyway, I think uh, I was putting the cups in the dishwasher, and I guess they weren't dishwasher safe. So. Oh yeah. Now you. But I'm glad you still have. You know what? I can't talk. I have a uh, an angry <laughs> Hulk T-shirt. Uh, no. I don't know stupid shit. Yeah. Oh. I like the angry Hulk movie. I'm like an no, apologist for the angry Hulk movie. Yeah, you I don't do. like that movie. Nah. Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> yes, you I like. A lot of kicking. I like. Yeah. I like Siphon Filter, and I like the Angly Hulk. Uh, what are some other yeah, co- one of those controversial is good takes and the other I have? Isn't. <laughs> what? See, one of those is good, and the other one isn't. What else do you like? Brushing your teeth and uh, chugging some orange juice? Come on. Get out of here. Yeah. What are you talking about? Anyway. I can, I can spot us. a needlessly argumentative spot. What? <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. Uh, we just got to the end of the level, and it was so quick. Ah! Because I use cheat codes. Isn't that great? And you cheated not only this. the game, but yourself. L- look at this explosion. Oh, Whoa. that's a sweet explosion. Look at that. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, PlayStation graphics, dude. It's yeah. The best graphics. Oh. <laughs> now it's searching memory card. Oh, so fetus, Barry. Crunch. Uh, what did you think of this amazing level of siphon filter? This I very... I Brief, it, brisk level. It probably would have been better if you hadn't cheated like crazy. <laughs> you know, it might be more like, yeah, it wasn't even as long as an episode of Evangeline. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is bullpucky. Okay. This is horse feathers. I, I don't appreciate it. You cheated. Yeah. Like I said, you cheated yeah. not only in the game, but me. What is this? <laughs> All right. Well, listen, uh, Phoenix, for those of you guys who don't know, he, he did that uh, meme. Uh, I found, I, by the way, I didn't even know who did the meme. I just kept seeing it floating around. Sure. Uh, when I was, you know, working on the spawn AVGN episode, (laughs) uh, I came up with this plot device where the nerd keeps cheating. Sure. Cause the games are too hard and they're too. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, but so I'm like, I was trying to think, I'm like, Oh, but you know what? The fans might call him out on this. And I'm like, Oh, but he's in hell. Maybe it'll be part of his punishment. And then I was like, what was that? What was that meme? And I looked it up and I quoted (laughs) your meme twice. I got some level skip codes right here with your name on them. Wouldn't using cheats be wrong. Isn't that a hollow victory? You cheated. You didn't grow. You didn't improve. You took the shortcut and gained nothing. No, I, I very much appreciated that, man. That was that was a huge deal for me. Like the stuff that that happened around that copy pasta was just nuts. I mean, I, I had been I had been fooling around on Twitter, just doing my random stuff for God years, and I, I finally saw this one thing. And while I was typing it out, I was I thought, you know, this is gonna go nowhere. So I might as well, you know, I might as well like embellish a little bit. I might as well go a little bit nuts. And so like I, I made a couple of it's very unusual for me, but I made a couple of. Uh, edits as i was typing it i was like is this is this enough is it too much like like where's the line you know what i mean and um i like to think that i nailed it and actually i got a lot of uh i got a lot of people saying oh well uh people are passing the the coffee pot around because they're dunking on you but i also got a lot of like very sincere um like heartfelt messages from people all around the world um somebody translated my tweet into uh hebrew um japanese a lot of japanese people actually got a hold of me and we were like you know we absolutely understand what you're saying um one japanese guy called me mr legend and i'm like that's amazing like yeah of course i'll run with that <laughs> right i'm like, yep mr legend Wait. Um, Mr. Legend forever. Yeah, it reminds me of that movie. Uh, what was it, Mr. Baseball? <laughs> right, where what was it? Tom I Sellers guess. in Japan. 
You should know this. I haven't seen it. Movies. I'm Come on. sorry. Um, I haven't seen that one. How do you, how do you, you not memorize everything that Tom Selleck's <laughs> ever been in? Um, but yeah, no, it's all in all, you know, it's, it's been a really incredible and surreal experience. Um, yeah. I ended up talking to like three or four different journalists. Uh, there was an article <laughs> written about me in the BBC, uh, but the guy couldn't. Uh, yeah, the guy, his name is Tom. He's a really nice guy. He couldn't get the name Fetusberry past the editors, so he had to call me Crunch, which is fine. <laughs> I don't mind. You know, you can't put Fetusberry in the in the in the BBC apparently, but uh, yeah, yeah. There's that. You know, I have my own uh, know your meme page. I got the the whole thing. It's it's really yeah. it's been wild, man. Um, XCOM version of it. Sonic did a version of it. Man did one. You know, it's it's been crazy. Yeah. And uh, you had a podcast that you're looking to reboot at some point. Uh, some point. God, I hope so. It was called <laughs> Fetusberry Jam. Yeah, Fetusberry Jam. Yeah. Um, you can find it on Twitter. It's at F E T U S B E R R Y J A M. Uh, it's me and my best friend. My wife died again, and sometimes it's also uh, 100% A plus five stars. Wait. Wait, I'm uh, sorry. You do a podcast with your best friend? I don't recall yeah. doing a podcast with you. Well, you're invited. Aren't I your best friend? You're invited. We're best friends. You're oh, okay. My best friends. You can't expect <laughs> me to just. This is my first time on your show, buddy. How good a friend are you, huh? You know what I mean. You're turn my best or, friend. You try to turn you're this around my... on me. You said the veto is your best friend. I ain't bought El Delphine Daffwater. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the fetus, Barry. Uh, thanks for go. joining me. Thanks for doing this. Oh, you're very welcome. And, I love uh, the show, man. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, check him out, and I'll be back next week with a new best friend. Goodbye. No, you won't. <laughs>